Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mike, and welcome back to AXC Garage, a channel that's built for today's Acura Hondas and all the classic. Behind me is a 2021 Acura RDX A Spec. Our friends at TurboWack just bought this car, and we got a few upgrades for it. Before we do that, let's take a quick look at the car. Here it is guys, 2021 RDX A-Spec finished in this beautiful modern steel metallic and also got the red and sway interior on the inside. Now we have a set of Vossen wheels sitting right over there. We're not quite ready to open the box yet because we want to get those wheels protected by ceramic coating. And our friend at Turbo Wax is going to show us step by step how to do it. So let's go get the wheel load up and head over to this place. So one from Turbo Wax today is going to demonstrate to us how to properly do ceramic coating on a set of brand new wheels. Before we get started, let's go open the box. All right guys, for the RDX 20x9 HF5 in matte gum metal. Really like the look of the wheels. I think it'll look really nice on the RDX. What do you think, Juan? They look phenomenal. I love them. They look great. Again, guys, this is Juan from, uh, from Turbo Wax. Thank him so much for inviting us over here to his headquarters. And today he goes show us how to properly ceramic code a set of wheels, right? That's right. We're gonna we're gonna show you two ways how we can spray them or how can we apply them by hand with the applicator that comes in the kit. Okay, so what where do we start now? Well, I think that we can go through the whole range of things that we have here. Okay. And uh, let's start with the safety. So we got the mask which we need to protect ourselves. Uh, we have nitrated gloves. We're gonna go uh, with the compressor today, and this one is an airbrush. So we will be spraying them. We got the booster, which, which is the actual product. We have a couple of very important microfibers here. And the reason for this is because we want to tuck them on the wheel to avoid them rolling on us. That has happened to us before. Uh, we have the prep oil, which is the solution prior to the ceramic coating. Uh, we have some microfiber towels. And then we have this little gizmo here where we use to put the lug nut. And then of course we have the arranged products that we use to maintain and care for the wheels after we're done. Well, let's get started. Let's go ahead and get the wheels out of the box and get them on the table. Okay, so the very first thing that I do, I do a visual inspection to make sure the condition of the wheel is in good condition. Sometimes during shipping, they might have a nick or so. So we have inspected this one. It looks phenomenal, brand new. It has zero defects. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the back side. And as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna tuck these little microfibers in here to stop the wheel from rolling. That's, that's all that does. And then the next step is we're gonna use our solution, the prep oil, with a microfiber towel. We like to spray it into the towel. What solution is that again? This is a solution called prep oil and it's nothing more than a wax and a grease remover. 
So I usually use this for the wheels or the vehicle. The idea is that the surface is, has zero dust, fingerprints or contaminants, and that will assist us to make sure that the bonding is done correctly with the ceramic and the surface. So I just spray into the one towel and I'm just gonna wipe the entire surface. Then I will go behind on that area that I just did with a dry microfiber and I will remove any residue that I might have from that. It takes about 30 to 60 seconds for everything to evaporate so we will continue. Um, on the inside I will spray them very lightly because I'm going to be spraying the entire thing and again with the microfiber it's really nothing fancy. And the reason I like to start with the back side of the wheel is because if you notice it on this wheel, there's a lot of openings, see? So that would allow me more time for the product to evaporate. This area here where it makes the contact with the vehicle, um, I will not spray that. So I will stay away from that. Um, but we want to spray the bottles and the front. So on the front, obviously I have to spray and then I will have to go back again to wipe anything that went on the back side. So again, we go spoke by spoke. The preparation is crucial with any ceramic coating, not only ours. You wanna make sure that the surface doesn't have any fingerprints, any contaminants or anything like that. So the uh, ceramic bonds properly to the surface. So I'm gonna get to the last stretch. Now I'm gonna put my gloves because I'm gonna be touching the wheel and I don't wanna leave my fingerprints in there. All right, so we got the wheel all prepped up. Now let's talk about this Ceramico uh, Booster 2.0. Tell me a little bit more about that. Right, so this is our one of our flagship products. It's a ceramic coating that comes in a glass bottle, 30 ml. Um, this, this particular product, you can use it on painted surfaces, you can use it on glass, you can use it on plastic, exterior plastic trim, on wheels like we're gonna do now, especially on matte wheels, it will not turn them shiny. It will give them a very nice protection, but it will not bring them to a real shiny that people are worried about it when they have these type of wheels, no? So, so why, yeah, you know, I hear all the time where, where just ceramic coating always make things shinier. Is it a true factor or is is a misconception? I think it's a misconception and depending on the brand too, because some, some manufacturers, they have different coatings for different applications. So what we have done is to our research and development, we came up with one single product to cater to the entire uh, areas without having to get the assistance of a second product. So with, with your product right now, uh, this wheel obviously is matte gun metal. Yes. Once you apply on it, it will not change the shade at all. It will not, no. Okay, so I got the adjustment back here that you can adjust if you want a bigger pattern or less pattern. If you're doing, for example, a set of 24 inch wheels or 22 wheels, then I would suggest that you spray a little more. But this one being 20, I got it set up properly. So you can see the pattern there. All right. So we're gonna start from the back side on the bottle. So we go. All right, so as you saw, we spray heavy into the, into the wheel 
And uh, now we have waited the five minute mark and we're just gonna lightly remove any excess that we might have in the faces. Um, the one thing that I do on the bottles, um, especially on these wheels, they're gonna, they're gonna be for our truck, I will leave the backside untouched. Um, I just wanna have a real heavy coat. And as you can see, um, we apply the coating and the color never changed. You notice that, Mike? You know what I love about your kit? I, I love the fact that it does come with the applicator, yet at the same time, you recommend use the airbrush because mm -hmm. take a look at these wheels here. It's almost impossible for you to reach in all these, you know, small pocket and small area. And with the airbrush, you definitely get all the ceramic coating in all the correct places. Yes. So I took a brand new microfiber tile and I just um, level all the high spots that I might have. And uh, just looking at the face, it looks phenomenal. Exactly, so the recommendation is two coat. Uh, why I went ahead and spray the first coat. Yep. I'm gonna have a pleasure to do the second coat. Yes, sir. So along with the wheels, Fasten did send us a set of lug nuts and also wheel locks. Very, very nice quality. You can see on our previous videos on TLX and other videos, uh, we've been using these lug nuts quite a bit. Got a floating seat so it doesn't scratch the wheel. Very, very high quality, super lightweight. Uh, with that being said, Juan also going to show us how to ceramic coat the lug nuts and the center cap. Yes, sir. So we got this little gizmo here and we, we using the airbrush gun, we're just going to spray them. Um, on, on each side, um, let it set, and then tomorrow we will replace them with another set and so on. Oh, there you have it guys. Ceramic coat is all done. I mean, I'm looking at the wheel coating here. I don't see any changes uh, with the shade. It didn't get any shinier, it remained the same exact shade. Really love the result. The airbrush definitely helped with the nuts and crannies and how to get in all those tight spaces. Man, I mean, this is super awesome. Tell me a little bit more, Juan. Well, uh, I'm super happy, you know, um, we were able to get those very tight, small places with the airbrush and you give it a try and you like it, you know, it's very easy to apply and, and remove. And, you know, the one thing that I'm really proud about this product is that you purchase a very expensive set of wheels and they're matte and you don't want to change the shape of them. Turbo Wax Booster 2.0 will give you the protection without putting any shine to it. If the wheel will shine, it will shine, but not on matte wheels. So how much is the MSRP on a bottle like this? So the kit is uh, retails for $90 on our uh, online store. So we go ahead and put a link in the description. And for a limited time, you want to pick that up. We got a 10% discount, promo code AXC. 10 we give you a 10 percent discount and www.turbowax.com again we'll put a link in the description in case you guys want to purchase them so now we got one wheels down and we got three more wheels to go and right after that we'll take all four wheels back to the shop and get started on the car all right guys so we are back in the shop we got all four wheels ceramic colored by turbo wax now let's go ahead and work on the next item before we do that let's go ahead and remove the wheels and we'll take a look see what we got All right, here we have a set of Eibach lowering spring. Front drop about 1.5 inch, the rear drop about 1.2 inch. With this lowering spring, it's really gonna set off the stands and also increase the performance on this RDX, killing that wheel gaps and also enhance it with the Vossen HF5. So next up, let's go take a look at the suspension. All right, so we got the wheels off. Should be pretty easy task. We're gonna have to probably remove uh, the knuckle right over here, sway bars and lower control arms 
in the back the same thing you had um, a different location between the shock and the spring so the back should be pretty pretty straightforward so let's get started All right, we have both front struts out of the car. Let's go and bring these to the spring compressor so we can get the stock springs out and install the I-Box springs.
whole lower spring install. So let's go get the wheels and tires. Boston HF5 with ceramic coated. Over here we have the original wheels and tires. What we have to do is we have to remove the original tires, then we're gonna put it on the Boston HF5. And Andre is gonna help us to do that. We are all done with the wheels and tires, so let's go ahead and put them on the car. Here's the end result, IBOC loading spring, 1.5 inch drop in the front and 1.2 inch drop in the back. HF5 Boston gunmetal wheels, matches really, really nice with these factory colors. So next up, let's go ahead and do a four wheel alignment.
have it guys, 2021 Acura RDX A-Spec, tastefully modified with Eibach Lone Spring, dropping the front at 1.5 inch, and the back at 1.2, along with this Boston 20 inch HF5 in metal gun metal, keeping the original OEM size, and also the factory Goodyear tire. And not to forget, these wheels are protected by Turbo Wax Ceramical product. In case you guys are interested, Check out the website right over here, turbowax.com. Use promo code AXC10 to get 10% off the entire website. This is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, definitely hit the like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends and family. As always, thank you again for watching. See you guys on the next one.